Hey, this is David, the Preparedness Therapist. We're going to talk about coping today. Uh, I was in a fast food restaurant the other day, uh, waiting to place an order. I was standing in line, and a few folks ahead of me, uh, there was a, a fellow who was placing his order. He was getting very upset. He didn't understand the menu. He didn't understand uh, the items that he could have in his meal. He was trying to explain it to the worker, and the worker probably was due. Uh, she was struggling just a little bit, uh, getting things in the, the computer right. Um, anyway, he just went into a tirade. He, it, it, something set him off and he started yelling and screaming and people around him moved back a few steps. Uh, somebody tried to step in and intervene. He got mad at that individual. He just had, uh, no coping skills at all and um or i guess i should say his coping skill was to blow off steam that way and to to uh, blow up in front of everyone and it was scary for those of us who were there i wondered if i would have to uh, intervene some way physically because he was getting really upset I kept thinking if that was my daughter at the counter i wouldn't want her to be subjected to what he was putting her through Manager came out and excused him from the store. He didn't get his meal and he got really embarrassed or maybe he should have been really embarrassed, okay? Um, coping, when uh, everything goes down in a dark ages situation, all of us are gonna be placed in situations where we're gonna want to blow up too. And so this stuff that we're gonna talk about right now in just the next minute or so is useful now, but it's also useful uh, during a dark ages situation. Coping is uh, the bottom line, uh, regulating our emotions. If we can regulate our emotions, then we're able to cope. Because if we have our emotions under control, our behavior is going to be under control. When we cope, uh, we help ourselves and other people by coping, uh, help them with their coping as well. Coping doesn't mean that we uh, solve the problem. Coping doesn't mean that um, we learn and grow. Coping just means that we get by until something better can happen. So coping, how do we cope? Uh, we cope by number one, focusing on the task at hand. If we can just uh, get rid of all the other stresses in our life, block them out and just focus, uh, hyper focus on what we're dealing with right at the moment. That's one way to cope. If we can solicit a partner to work with us, that's a great way to cope. Uh, it's hard to do journeys alone and it's hard to do hard journeys alone, right? We like to have somebody there with us. So if we can solicit a partner, then uh, we're gonna be able to cope better if we have uh, somebody on the journey with us. Um, so that's the second thing. Uh, Third thing is don't try to fix whatever the problem is immediately. Uh, just try to take one step at a time. Don't try to fix it all at once. Uh, just little bite-sized pieces. If you, you've you seen that uh, uh, drawing from years ago, there's somebody who was told to eat a whale and they got overwhelmed. But if you just take one bite at a time, it's going to take a little bit of time, but you can do it. Uh, and then uh, forward looking. Um, if people have a light at the end of the tunnel, if they can see that there's going to be an end to this, uh, even for the next step, you don't have to see the very end. You just have to see that there's something you can do next. Then you can cope uh, and realize that it's not going to last forever. Uh, you have to have faith if you can't see the the light at the very end of the tunnel. But if you can see the light for the next step, that's what's important. So take these uh, coping ideas and uh, implement them in your life today and also in uh, uh, when the Dark Ages situation hits because there's going to be a whole lot of coping going on. We're going to be presented with circumstances we never thought we would. When that happens, uh, wow. We're going to need some help. So, yeah, write these four down and uh, go forward and learn to cope. Thanks. See you. Bye.